Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, I've been feeling a little bit spendy with Makeup Revolution. I've been picking things up over time because, spoiler alert, the next testing makeup video that I am going to be filming is for Makeup Revolution. I know you guys have been asking for that for so, so long. So over time, I have just been popping into Superdrug, picking things up as I go along. And then the other day, I noticed that Tam Beauty, which has like Makeup Revolution, Freedom, I Heart Makeup, all that sort of thing, they had an offer on where if you spend £30, you get free shipping and then you also get one of the mystery goodie bags. I've always wanted one of them because I'm a sucker for free things and also free things if I have no idea what it is. It just drags me in. So. I decided to do that, I already had well enough products to do the full face, but I picked up some more because what can I say, I'm a sucker. So today I thought I would show you guys everything that I've picked up over the past few weeks. There's quite a lot, so let's get into it. So I think first of all I'm going to start with some of the things I picked up from Superdrug because the stuff I got online is a bit more exciting. The first thing is this palette from Freedom. This is literally just like a Z palette, so it's just got a magnetic base here. And I picked this up because Freedom have just come out with these like Makeup Geek dupe single eyeshadows. So I picked this up and I thought some of my other eyeshadows that I had would stick to this, but I am going to need to buy the actual magnets on their own to stick to that. So I picked that up a little while ago. Another thing that I picked up is a contour palette. This is their Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour. I've heard a lot about this. This shade looks so much up my street. Like all the contour shades look pretty amazing to me. I love a good cream contour and like I said, I have heard a lot about this. I've tried their other cream contour and it's pretty good but I've heard this is meant to be really, really good. I think this was around £10, and I think the magnetic palette was about £5, somewhere around that. So the second time I went to Superdrug, they actually had another offer on for Makeup Revolution, where I think it was something like, spend £12 and you get a free palette. This was the palette in question. It is called the Love the Revolution, and I saw this on their Instagram, so I was really excited to pick it up. And I guess these are just eyeshadows, and then in the middle you've got a highlighter. Um, this red shade, that is so nice. Um, I don't really have enough fingers to swatch everything. But everything, you know what, wipe them on the pyjama bottoms, that's fine. I'll do close-ups and everything like that. Um, let's just swatch these as well. These are very, very buttery. And I don't say the word buttery lightly. Like this one, that is insane. I'm literally just swatching this on my pyjama bottoms now. They need a wash anyway, it's fine. But I know you guys are all interested in this highlighter. That is icy. You guys know I'm not too into my icy highlighters, the sort of cool tone ones. I do like a warm tone highlight. But this does look pretty good. Especially if you do want something full on blinding. Could be really, really nice for the inner corner. And it is massive as well, so I was really happy to pick that up. I also picked up this little brow kit for my testing makeup video with them. This is the Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit looks a little something like this. It does look fairly light. I'll swatch the darkest colour. Actually, that should be okay. Let's face it, I like my brows. Probably a bit too dark anyway, so this is probably a perfect match for me. Um, and I'll swatch that for you guys there as well. So yeah, pretty pigmented, not too powdery either. It's quite nice and light, so you're not going to end up with like really chunky brows. Also comes with a brush and a pair of tweezers. Then I picked up this little contouring palette, to be honest. I was just trying to make up the £12 that I got the free palette, but this does look a lot like the sleek one, which I really, really do like. Ooh, that is, that is a lot more buttery than the sleek one. I feel like Makeup Revolution have recently gotten so much better with their powders. You guys are able to see that there. It has got a bit of eyeshadow still on that finger. But that's like a really nice kind of soft contour. It may not be dark enough. Actually, it's probably just dark enough so that it doesn't look too intense. So yeah, I think this could actually work. So yeah, I picked up that. I think it was around the £3 mark. They have got a massive sale online now, which I am trying to restrain myself with. Um, and I think this costs £2 in the sale. So if you weren't interested in that, then check it out. Then the thing that I originally went into Superdrug for is the Light and Shade Palette. Hmm, I wonder what this could be duping. It's basically a dupe for the Kat Von D shade and light. Let's get rid of that brush, I'm never gonna use that. So this is what the palette looks like. I actually have the Kat Von D version of this section down here. You guys may remember it from my testing Kat Von D makeup tutorial. And I've gotta say, it looks pretty spot on. I may have to do like another half high-end, half drugstore face. And I may have to put these two to the test because they look pretty good. Again, I'm not gonna swatch everything because, I mean, these poor pajama bottoms. But let's just swatch this red shade here again. 
That is pretty similar to what I've got on my lids right now. I'm wearing the Urban Decay Ultimates. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just casually wiping it on my tracksuit bottoms again. What else can we swatch? Let's swatch this black. Okay, that is really, really black, which you don't often find for drugstores. Quick swatch on the trousers, and then we'll swatch one more. A lot of them are just brand neutral shades, which is really good. They are all mattes. Um, let's just swatch this peachy transition shade there. All really nice. Again, super buttery and soft. So yeah, really excited to have this. I think it cost me around eight pounds. So next we'll move on to the big bag of stuff that I picked up online. I've had quite a lot of comments recently from you guys asking for me to try these out. Of course, I was gonna try these out. I mean, as soon as I saw them release, I went straight on that website and I picked these up. I didn't wanna go ahead and buy every single color just in case I don't like them because I have enough liquid lipsticks as it is. So I picked up two different shades. The first one I picked up is in the shade, what are you? It's in the shade Magnificent, which is like a greeny sort of shade. I'll do swatches in a second. And then I also picked up the shade Echelon. Is that how you say it? E Echelon. I think that's how you say it, but it's like this nudie shade, which I like the look of most. So I thought I would test out two opposite ends of the spectrum, one like super intense color, one nice nude. So I'm just gonna open these up and do a couple of swatches. So obviously these are meant to be dupes of the Kylie lip kit. I haven't yet tried them. I think I am gonna have to bite the bullet and pick up at least one lip kit just so I can do like a wear and compare and things like that. I know Lottie London also have lip kits and I think another drugstore brand also do them. So I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. Let me know which color you think I should go for because I know she has a lot out now. But this is what the liquid lipstick and liner looks like. The lip liner looks pretty bog standard and then the liquid lipstick has like a really nice almost matte rose gold lid. So I'm gonna quickly do a swatch of that. Let's pop it right there for you guys. You know what? That is a nice shade. It's quite cool toned, which I really, really like on a lip. And then we'll go in with the lip liner as well. I'm not sure if they're meant to be like the exact same color. Yeah, this one is a bit lighter, very, very creamy. I imagine that the liquid lipstick will dry down a little bit darker. We'll see how it dries down in a second. And now I'm gonna go in with the next shade. So this is the shade Magnificent and I can already tell that I'm gonna love this. Perhaps not every day, but you guys know I love a crazy lip color. So this is the shade Magnificent. It helps if I turn the doe foot the right way. Wow. That is almost like a blue black. I will do close ups and things like that, but you may be able to see it's like a really, really dark blue. At some lights it looks black and then when it hits the light, it kind of looks like a sort of almost navy, navy but kind of turquoisey blue. So that's a really, really interesting shade that I don't have. And then the lip liner, the lip liner is a pretty spot on match actually. And again, really, really creamy. I am very, very excited for these. I may have to pick up the others. I also picked up a base for my testing makeup video. I think literally years ago I tried, they had this foundation in a little bottle and I think it was called the One Foundation or something. And I wasn't overly keen on it, so I don't know what this one will be like. This is the Ultra Face Base Foundation, BB Cream Foundation. I got it in the shade FB06. I can't remember what FB stands for, but I think I got it in like a yellow tone because I thought that would probably work with my skin a lot better. Looks like it could be a bit too pale, but we can work with that. The color and like the sort of shade. To be honest, the shade isn't too far off. It's just here, so we can bronze that up a little bit. Um, does seem a lot more full coverage than the last foundation I tried from them. So yeah, could be a good one. I think this is like two pounds. Of course, I also had to pick up a concealer. This is the Focus and Fix Liquid Concealer, and this one is in the shade Zero Too Fair. I got this because it looked, again, quite yellowy, so I thought it could be good for brightening the under eyes. Looks okay, quite creamy. Let's see how it blends out. Not the most intense coverage, but thank God I'm having a fairly good skin day at the moment, so hopefully that will continue when I get around to doing this video because it doesn't look overly full coverage but fingers crossed it'll cover what I need. Then I picked up the mascara. I did really want to try their Viper mascara because I've heard a few things about that. But this was the only one in stock. It's called the Awesome Lash Power and Definition. So let's check out the brush. Looks like a pretty bog standard brush to me. It's quite big. So we'll see how that goes. I can't really do any sort of first impressions or swatches or anything like that, but we'll see how it goes. 
Next I have a few of the Freedom eyeshadow pans that I mentioned. These are to go in the Magnetic palette. I didn't want to pick up too many colours. Again, if I don't like them, then I don't want to have too many colours that I'm never going to use. So I picked up a neutral brown shade that I think could be good in the crease. I actually want to stick them in the palette right now. I've never stuck anything to a Magnetic palette before, so this is going to be exciting. So this is what it looks like. Again, I will swatch. Ooh, very buttery. Very, very grey tone. So maybe not the best for a transition shade. Actually, on the skin, to be honest, it doesn't look too cool tone. So I think I'll be using that as a transition. Then I picked up this matte purple. This one is in the shade matte 04. I don't really know why I picked up a matte purple shade because, to be honest, I don't really wear purple eyeshadow on the regular. But it looks pretty nice, to be fair. Let's have a swatch. This one doesn't seem as buttery, but... The pigment is the pigment is there definitely. Let's pop it here. Pretty nice. Maybe not as pigmented. Like oh, there goes the pan. When you swatch it, like it looks a lot lighter. Is what I'm trying to say. But um, still, really nice color. And then of course, I feel like I now have so many of these eyeshadows just lurking around. I had to pick up a matte ready burn orange shade. This one is in the shade matte ten. And I've seen this in Superdrug and it's always sold out, so definitely check out the website if you do want it. Again, let's have a little swatch. So that's what it looks like there. Let's pop it on the arm here. Nice. Again, looks a lot lighter on the skin than it does in the pan. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a little bit different to me. But I think I actually prefer this colour here. It's almost like a pinky red, so a little bit different than some of my other matte reds. And now I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the palette. The satisfaction, oh my god. That is so satisfying. I'm gonna buy more of these just so I can stick it in the palette. And then the last one. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting more of those just so I can do that because that was fun. And then I picked up a lipstick. I know they have basically two formulations with the same colors of these lipsticks. This one is in the shade Chauffeur, which I think is one of their like best selling or something, but I picked it up in the matte version, of course. It looks really pretty. Where can I swatch you? I don't want to ruin any of my other swatches. Put it down here. Okay. That is quite cool toned again. It's almost like a satin matte finish, which I actually prefer for a lipstick because when they're fully matte, they kind of don't look that great. So this could be quite comfortable on the lips. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's a pretty nice colour. You know what? I'm actually going to put it on now. Oh yeah, that is nice. Okay, well, I may have found my new everyday lipstick. So now we're going to move on to the exciting part and the bit that I've been waiting for because I've had this hanging around for a few days and all I wanted to do is look inside here. This is the goodie bag that came with my delivery and it feels quite heavy. It feels like there's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just going to open it up and, oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm just going to dig for it. So, do I have this? No. This is something I don't have, which is great, great place to start, and it's the, the one blush stick. And I have this in like the contour shade. Uh, I really like it, I use it for contour quite a lot, so I'm really excited for this actually. It's in the shade Matte Rush, so I'm guessing it's just like a blush shade if it's anything like the red shade on the outside. Ooh, so that is what it looks like. It's just a big fat stick. I'll pop the colour there. Oh my god, that is so nice. And apparently you can use it on your lips or something as well. I can definitely see me using that colour on my lips. That is so nice and it really is matte. And it dries down to like a powder. I swear this consistency is different to my other one. This seems so nice. And these are super cheap as well. Like I know the contour one that I got, it's like two quid or something. So yeah, really excited to try that. Next inside my little bag is, what is this? A baked eyeshadow in Electric Dreams. Okay, can I open it or is it shut? Okay, it's open. This is what it looks like. Possibly not the sort of colours that I would use, but I'll give them a quick swatch. Very buttery, actually. Could potentially use these because normally when I look at palettes like this, I think they're just going to be kind of scratchy and not really have any pigment. This does. So if I'm ever going for like a purpley sort of eye look, then 
I will try this out at some point. Next we have, this is actually the foundation that I mentioned um, earlier. This is the One Foundation Revolutionary Fusion Technology Adapts to Skin Tone and Texture Full Coverage Buildable Matte Finish. This one is in shade 16, which I think it's actually this shade here. So, I mean, I have whacked on some tan recently, but I don't think I'm quite this shade. The bottle is very deceiving. Let's open it up, see if I can get any color. Okay, yeah, this is super dark for me. As you can see just there, it's like, it's very, very ashy. And it's almost like a watercolor. I don't really know how that could be buildable. Let me know if you want this. Obviously I have just taken a little bit from the lid, but if you do want it, let me know and I'll send it out to one of you guys. Um, but if no one wants it, then I'll try and contour with it or something. I don't want to let a product like this go to waste. But if any of you do want it, just let me know. Okay, so I just stuffed my hand in and I pulled out two things by accident. The first one is a gloss in, it's called Amazing Sheer Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Move A Little Closer. Not gonna lie, this probably will not get used by me, so again i'll give it to you when you guys if you want it or i'll put it in a giveaway or i'll give it to someone again just let me know and then we have this i've actually tried these before and they're pretty good these are the salvation intense lip lacquers i had a few of these colors before and i don't know where they've gone i had like a really intense pinky shade this is like what looks to be a pretty nice classic red shade so we will pop that here Ooh. Yeah, that looks really nice. And considering all of this stuff is just like an extra, I think so far so good to be honest. Yeah, that's really, really nice. They are quite drying, but just whack a little bit of lip balm underneath. And these are actually really, really good. And super cheap if I remember, like two or three pounds maybe. Next up, I feel like there's three things left. There's one small, one medium and one large. So I'm gonna go for the small one. Okay, what is this? Okay, so this is one of their pure pigments. I had no idea they even did pigments. This one is in the shade Levity. And it's like a sort of purpley tone. You guys may not be able to see that, but I will do a close up. Probably not gonna swatch it just because this could go everywhere, but that is interesting. I didn't know they did pigments. Okay, so I've got the medium one or the big one. I'm gonna go for the medium one. So this looks like a lipstick. It is, it's called the Lip Hug Lipstick and it's in the shade Who We Are. High shine, long lasting, smooth and sculpted lips. By the look of the little label on top, I'm guessing this is a red. Don't think I've ever heard about these before. It almost looks like a little lip balm. So it's just a standard twist up like that. And we will swatch here for you all. Yeah, it's kind of almost like a glossy, not overly pigmented, but kind of like a nice tint. So yeah, that could be really nice, especially if you are wearing like a liquid lipstick like the red one here. Could be really good to pop in your handbag just in case it gets a little bit dry throughout the day. What I like to do is pop like a similar shade lipstick over the top. Just moistens it up a little bit. I hate that word. Okay, and last but not least, I literally did save the best to last for this. I didn't even realize. It's a highlighter. This is their Radiant Light Glow Highlighter, I think. I believe I have one of these and it wasn't the most intense highlighter, but it's quite finely milled. What do you look like? I don't even know if I have the shade or not don't think I do. It's like a really nice golden shade. It almost looks a little bit like my Anastasia Bubbly. If it's anything similar, then I'm gonna freak out about this. Um, okay. Oh my God. That is metallic. Let me show you somewhere. How about here? This is a bit awkward. Okay. Can you see that? There must be a better way for me to show you this. I'm just going to show you guys again because I love that and I definitely wasn't expecting to get like a highlighter in the little goodie bag. Normally with these sort of things I always expect them just to give out things like this but like a full bag of lip glosses that maybe not everyone's going to use um, but everything apart from this and maybe the dark foundation. Big thumbs up from me. I mean I think it was worth it just for that highlighter because that is that is so nice. I may have to even pop that on my face tonight. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've tried this because 
It looks pretty good to me. Okay guys, so that is everything that I picked up from Makeup Revolution, Town Beauty, Freedom, whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you've tried anything that I've picked up today and if you have, then let me know your favourites. If you are excited for my testing Makeup Revolution video, please give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe if you do want to see more of me. I post three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I know you guys have been waiting for more testing makeup videos and I promise you they are coming. We've got Makeup Revolution, The Body Shop, we've got Soap and Glory, we've got New Look and we've also got The Balm as well. So those are the next five on my list. I plan on filming them over the next few weeks. So stay tuned for those. Also, I know that some of you may be interested, but I have actually finally gone around to uploading my first ever gaming video. I'll leave a link to my channel down below, or if you do want to search for it, it's just called The Girl That Games. So if you do want to have a laugh, then feel free to check that out. But yeah, that is pretty much everything from me today. As always, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.